Hello my Linians! This is Teacher Jomai and today we're going to discuss the topic Elements and Compounds. This video tutorial is based on your learning activity sheet on Science 7, Quarter 1, Tip 2. So bring out your learning activity sheet as well as your learner's module on page 34 to 42. For this session is, recognize that substances are classified into elements and compounds. For the lesson, let's have a warm-up exercise. I have here two questions for you to answer. The first question is, what is matter? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Correct! It is anything that occupies space and has mass. The next question is, What is an atom? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good! It is the building block of matter. Let's talk about elements. Elements consist of only one type of atom. An atom is the smallest particle of an element. Everything around us is made up of elements. Each element has different sets of properties. No two elements have the same set of properties. Do you know how many elements are there in the periodic table? Very good! 180 elements. The periodic table, or also known as the periodic table of elements, is an arrangement of elements by increasing atomic number, electron configuration, and recurring chemical properties. The periodic table is arranged from left to right in order of increasing atomic number or by increasing atomic mass. This periodic table of elements with names, atomic number, symbol, and mass is color-coded for easier reference. about the elements that may be found on the periodic table. Number one, name or element name. Every element has a name. In each box of the table, you will only find one name. One box corresponds to one element. Next is symbol. It is an abbreviation of the element's name. This is very helpful, especially to those elements with long names. Instead of writing the whole name, a one-letter, two-letter, or three-letter symbols may be used. Notice that most of the one-letter symbols are the first letter of the element. For example, C is the symbol for carbon. What is the symbol for oxygen? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good! The answer is O. How about the symbol for boron. Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Nice! B is the symbol for boron. For the two-letter symbols, 
Most of them starts with the first letter of the element. The second letter is the symbol with the any letter found in the element name. The first letter is capitalized and the second letter is the lower case or small letter. For example, Li is the symbol for lithium. Now, it's your turn. What is the symbol for neon? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good! NP is the symbol for neon. How about the symbol for argon? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Great! ER is the symbol for argon. There are symbols that use letters taken from the ancient name of the element. Examples of the ancient names are ferrum, iron. Element symbol is Fe. Argentum, silver. Element symbol is E. Atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons define the identity of an element. In each box in the periodic table, you will find a number on top of each symbol, and it is the atomic number. Next is groups and periods. Groups also known as family, is the vertical column in the periodic table. There are 18 numbered groups in the periodic table. Periods, also known as series, is the horizontal row of the element. There are 7 periods in the periodic table. Now, let us have some recap. What is element? Element is consists of only one type of atom. What are the information about the element that may be found in the periodic table? Some information about the element that may be found in the periodic table are the name, the symbol, the atomic number, the period, and the groups. Turn your activity sheet on the image. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For addition activity number 1, you are going to write C if the statement is true and M if the statement is false. For addition activity number 2, you are going to identify the name and symbol of the element that correspond to the following atomic number. going to identify the symbol, period, and group number of a given element. You may copy the table on a separate long band paper and write your answer. And for the rock of activity, we are going to answer the question, how is the periodic table arranged? Today, if you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic that we Discuss, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text or call, or you can also post in your official Facebook page or group. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe!